From the Tri-State Sports Leader, this is WGEM Sports. Well, for the second straight evening, the 3-9 Quincy Gems, yeah, they'll be back in action against the 5-6 Alton River Dragons on the road this evening. Quincy lost at Alton Sunday evening 7-4 after tallying eight hits and committing just one error on the day. The Gems will attempt to snap their latest two-game losing skid before returning home, of course, on Tuesday. We hope it gets it done. Now this evening at 635, the gems are scheduled to send Camp Point Central grad and John Wood lefty Peyton Clampett to the hill as Quincy tries to lock down their fourth win of the season. The gems were back at QU Stadium earlier today preparing for another tough road battle. It's been a tough turnaround for the troops. Last night, Gems pitching gave up nine hits against Alton and they had one error on the road. Uh, Quincy wants to change that tonight in a very big way. The team is still looking to add more players to their roster, especially pitchers. Right now, the squad is just trying to focus in on getting a few timely hits and score more runs in their effort to get out of last place in the Great River Division. Yeah, we, we have to play better. I mean, that's plain and simple. We, we got Clampett going tonight. Um, we know what they're going to give us. They're going to be fiery. They're going to talk a little bit. So we need to we need to match their energy. What's Clampett been going through on the hill? A couple of tough nights, a couple of tough outings for him. Yeah, he's just got to throw more strikes. You know, we got to get through the first three innings or so. It seems like the third inning has been our kryptonite all year long. We have a good couple of first two, and then and then the third we usually give up a big number. So we got to get through the first three, and, and I think we're going to be okay. Feeling good. Peyton Clampett on the mound. He's had... Got roughed up the past couple weeks, but he's a good arm, and we're looking forward to doing big things tonight.